everyone that is asking me to address Grace's recent video, no. With all due respect, I'm not dragging on a situation that happened nearly a month ago. I've got better things to do in life. I've got better things to think about without someone trying to screw it up. Like, listen, it happened nearly a month ago. Nothing else has happened. I don't know why she's still dragging it on. I'm not speaking to her. She's got me blocked and everything, so I don't know what she expects anyway. But I'm not addressing a video that I don't need to address. It's got nothing to do with me anymore. I haven't... Like, it's over with. I don't want to address it. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I really want some Cocoa Pops and I want to go to bed. <laughs> so, with all due respect, no. No, it's not it. So, <laughs> good night. God bless. I love you all, but I'm not addressing it anymore because I'm over it. I've got better things to do in life than just sit on a screen and drag on a situation that happened nearly a month ago. Right, okay. But anyway. Good night, God bless, I love you all, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mwah! Hey guys, I just want to come on here and talk about some stuff that's been going on lately, because everything at the moment has been targeting me on social media, and I want to address it all real fast, so just take a minute and listen. So remember when there was this whole thing going on about Gracie and Tadona Metcalf drama, which really wasn't a drama, it was not a big deal at all, it was literally minimal, like it did not need to be brought on social media, but Gracie decided to bring it on to social media when I didn't want to. Because literally all that happened was I blocked Grace. No, I didn't block her, I removed her on Snapchat because she'd been mocking me for nearly everything I said then. Basically it was fake and then pretended to be my friend when in reality she was mocking me to a boy behind my back. So I just went, didn't speak to her, I just removed her, blah, blah, blah. There's a video on my car explaining it if you want to go watch that, but anyway. Now there's been this whole thing going around about me saying a slur on a group chat and that there's proof of recording it. But I just want to address this now. So basically the root cause of behind it was basically, it was an edited video. I have proof it's an edited video, I'll show that proof now. So this did happen quite a while back. Like it did happen like actually a few months back, but someone has brought it up i know who's brought it up so i'll mention that in the video as well but it's decided to be brought up again straight after the gracie may drama um basically this is the proof that it was edited i'm going to cover the user here because obviously i don't want them getting slated but that's the proof i'm gonna to have to cover that word up the top so it will get banned but yeah basically they'd edit it to just try and get me cancelled and to basically ruin my career but anyway i spoke to the people who made the fake thing and they we sorted it all they were fine with it they admitted to it and it was fine it was over and now a few months later it's been brought up again and the root cause of that is because gracie has decided to find that video the edited video of me saying this slur and has added a bunch of my followers on snapchat and has decided to go around and tell them all to spread this and to make everyone hate Tallulah and here's the proof. So this is what my friend Naya has been sent. So uh, you all know Naya. So Naya has been getting quite a few messages off my fans saying that I've been saying a slur. So she sent her the proof that I didn't and this is what they came back with. Um, I know also quite a few of my friends like um, Jess, Connie, Joe have been getting into DMs about it as well and they've all come back with the same thing. So I know this isn't fake. Um, so yeah. Obviously, I don't know why Gracie has done this since I literally had no bad blood with Gracie. Like, I thought, right, we sorted this situation out. She decided to bring it on social media, which I didn't think was okay. But then, you know, we both, I showed the proof of, like, everything like that. And then I thought it was sorted. It was done. I was never going to speak to her again. But no, she's now tried to go around social media and try to sabotage me for saying a slur and basically try to ruin my career and make everyone hate Tallulah. Which, obviously, if you think of it from my point of view, it's stressful enough doing social media and it's stressful enough, like with all the normal hate you get um, and then on top of that with another person with a huge platform trying to sabotage you for literally no reason is also a lot of stress like if you have a look on social media right now uh, I am one of the most hated people on social media I haven't in real in real life I haven't actually done anything wrong I haven't done anything wrong on social media all I do is literally get ready with me's people don't like me for making get ready with me's I don't understand why if you don't really like me and make get ready with me's you can just block me or literally just scroll past the video it's not a big deal but it's got to the point where there's people trying to sabotage me on social media I've been getting awful hate messages on Instagram for literally no reason I've been getting hate videos made about me which are awful basically just taking the absolute piss out of me for no reason when I don't know why, like, I literally haven't done anything wrong on TikTok or Instagram or anything. I literally have not done anything wrong. So I don't understand why I'm getting all this hate at the moment. I would like it to stop, but honestly, it's social media, so it's obviously not going to stop. It's either going to get worse or it will die down, but it'll still be there. Do you know what I mean? But I, I'm i just sick of keep having to come on social media and address situations that have been created by, other, by either other creators or hate pages. Do you know what I mean? Like, why? I literally just sit 
in my room and make get rid of me's like make videos of me getting ready and like I don't understand why I'm getting so much hate for it, do you know what I mean? Obviously, I'm not going to stop doing them, because I still love doing them. It's, uh, like, a highlight of my day. Like, I'll go on my TikTok, like, oh, I'm going to get rid of me, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. So, that's that situation cleared up. Um, I don't know why Gracie's trying to do this. Obviously, I haven't spoken to Gracie since... About three weeks, two and a half weeks ago, since I sent that long paragraph. I haven't spoken to her since. And then before that, I never even spoke to her. I just removed her, because she decided to mock me. And then she's decided to do this so but yeah that's that situation cleared up and that's my view on things and i don't really know why but yeah hope you all have a good day and i'll see you later when i make a get ready with me bye fuck my life on I'm okay hey guys so i've just woken up for a nap and i've seen loads of comments about something on grace's account so i'm here to address it and address the situation and what's actually happened okay so let's start this before i spend seven minutes making a video okay so there's been a lot of videos going around about tula and gracie beef drama <laughs> and i've also seen a lot of videos of gracie talking about some stuff about me and other people so i'm gonna address it all because i'm sick to death and i want to go back to bed so i've got college in the morning and i can't big fat cba Okay, so basically this is what happened. So quite a while back, me, Bailey, Gracie, and a few other people had a broadcast channel on Instagram, which we all used to message on now and then. Not a lot, but we all used to message on it. And I used to message them like, oh, hey, queens, like, how are we doing, things like that. Just a normal little broadcast channel with us all in, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, and then a few weeks later, I get a message from Bailey. Bearing in mind, me and Bailey do not speak. We are not together. We are never a thing. We never will be a thing. Um, so I also don't know why Gracie's making out that me and Bailey were a thing and I've stabbed her in the back and got with Bailey. Well, I really, really haven't. And we never will. Uh, anyway, so then I was all fine, dandy dandy, and then Bailey sends me over these screenshots of Gracie absolutely mocking the hell out of me on every single thing I said on that broadcast channel. And I, when I was reading these, I was kind of like, oh, what the hell? Because I thought me and Gracie were friends. I thought, like, we got along. We were, like, we didn't continuously speak to each other. Like, I hadn't spoken to her about... <laughs> a good few weeks like i was there for her i was like when because i remember when me and her were getting like loads and loads and loads and loads of hate on social media i'll message her and i'll be like you all right girl like, i'm there for you if you like whoever want to speak and things like just a normal thing you would say to kind of like be there for someone do you know what i mean because we were both getting loads of hits so we were both like just say like, oh we're here for each other you know what i mean so then when we're saying that and like being friends and everything and then i go see them all them screenshots of her mocking me to a boy i was just kind of like what the hell like what are you doing like i thought we were friends anyway i didn't make it a big deal i didn't go and tell the whole of social media i didn't go tell my whole platform about it i just thought you know that's not the type of person i'll be friends with like i hope she respects that so i didn't speak to her i didn't say anything i just literally removed her on a snapchat because i was like you know what? I'm, I'm kind of pissed off i don't want to speak to you so i just removed her on a snapchat bearing in mind i haven't spoken to this girl in a good few weeks so i didn't even think she would notice i removed her but no this girl noticed in the first like five minutes and then I thought, well, I don't want to message me on her old account because she only made this new account like a week ago. So I was like, she's still going to be in between them two accounts. So I just removed her anyway. Didn't think anything of it. Got about my day. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I realised on the night, nearly an hour later, I removed her. She has then been on a live with her friend Libby, I think her name was. Absolutely slatering the life out of me and absolutely <laughs> calling me pathetic because I removed her on her old account and she was getting really mad that I removed her on her other account. If she didn't care, if she had no cares in the world that I removed her on her other account, why did she go and check? That's what I don't understand. Anyway, I'm not going to go deep in that because it's not a big deal. But anyway, her and her friend Libby were absolutely slated on me on social media on a whole live stream and I was just like, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Anyway, and then she started having, I'm going to, um, anyway, didn't, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Didn't message the girl, but then I saw that live stream and I gave her a message. This is the only message I sent her. It's quite long, so I'll read, I'll read it out for you. So I said, hi, Gracie, just wanted to clear something up. The reason why I removed you wasn't because of the, anything you said on the live. It was the fact I got sent proof of you mocking me and nearly everything I did, which in my opinion, I don't think is really fair. And I don't think removing you on your Snapchat is a huge deal since we never spoke anyway. And the way you and your friend Libby discussed it on the live was not OK at all. I also seen that you're all about standing up to mental health and helping people. But the way you talk about other people doesn't match. I didn't speak to you about it because I didn't want to cause drama and I didn't want anything else to come between me and you. So I left it as that. Then you proceeded to go talk about it on a live stream where everybody could watch. I've also been shown that you have mocked me, my other friends, Amy, Nayak, here at Siena. What I don't understand why is because we haven't spoke to you or done anything to you ever, even on the broadcast with you and your mate Bailey. Wait, Bailey, why are you mocking every single message I sent? I don't 
understand it's not fair i've never done anything to you anyway hope you're okay hope things are going well and i don't think you're fair or a nice person like i thought you were and she replied with that haha anyway moving on i'll send i'll show you all the screenshots like so i'm not gonna show them all but i'll show you some just proof you know so this is the proof of her mocking me so as you can see here this is the broadcast the gray message the bailey the black one to me and i was like lazy as fuck get a grip it's 11 a.m and then there's her mocking me get a grip bailey or boring lazy af and then yeah that's where i said bailey or boring and then on this message i think it's utterly disgusting they were arguing to do whatever they want to do and then Gracie proceeds to pull me into every single argument they ever had. I don't know why, but I think it's disgusting. So, Bailey said SMD, she said to Lula Will. And I was like, what the actual fuck? But anyway, moving on. She then proceeds to go on a two-hour live and absolutely slate me and the PLT girls. So, Naya, Amy, Kim and Sienna. Which I don't understand why, because I haven't told these girls to do anything to Gracie. Like, they've, re they've unfollowed her on their own back because um like i didn't go and tell them oh look what gracie's been saying about me remove them now i didn't tell them to do any of that they chose to do that because they've seen how she's been talking like on live stream about me they've chose to remove her because she's they are sticking up for me in the situation like they don't want to follow her because of what she's saying about me and they know i haven't been saying anything about gracie and i've kept the situation mature i haven't gone and talked about it on tiktok live or anything like that so they've chose to do that which i respect and i hope all you guys can respect because they're only doing that because that's their side you know what i mean and they're sticking up for me as friends because they don't want to be friends with someone who's mocking me and like making fun of me and saying all this shit on live do you know what i mean and then there's gracie then saying like i don't understand why i'm getting the hate and getting called the bad person it, you would not right you would not be getting hate nothing would be on social media if it, if it wasn't for you going on tiktok live and then spreading it all across tiktok live what aren't you understanding there i wouldn't be getting hate and you would not be getting hate if it wasn't you who was going on tiktok live make it make sense anyway that's what happened it's literally not even a big deal at all so i literally do not understand why she's made it into this huge little drama that like, i have not messaged her since that message which was about five days ago and then before that i didn't even speak to her because i just removed her like i didn't even say anything and then she said if she had a problem message me no because i don't want to start an argument i don't want um guys i didn't post a video i don't know what proof she's got but i did not post that video i got messaged multiple times by this person saying i should post it because all the hate i've been getting i said it's not my place i'm not gonna post it number one why would i bait myself out so easily why would i put i love grace me in the bio come on i'm not that thick okay number two why would i make it on a fake account i could have posted it on my main account i chose not to because i didn't post it at all the fact she's made a video now knowing what her fans are going to do because they've been hating on me the whole fucking this whole week right the fact she's made a video now claiming i posted the video when i did not post the video just shows okay should i have brought it online no but i can't take it back so all the people going away you brought it online okay i don't care i can't take it back and that was like last week so i don't get why you keep bringing it up so yeah i didn't post a video i don't really know what else you guys want me to say mm. okay hi guys just want to talk about this talk about this okay um number one if this whole thing has started because i said to lula will because none of these who you hate none of these chats i have wrote so i don't really understand um but yeah i literally put to lula will i'm gonna li literally explain if this is why everyone's upset that i'm sorry um um i apologize if that's what everyone's upset about um i didn't write yeah uh when i was in contact with bailey i was basically there was a formed story that he put in my head of me and him being together um and it wasn't just one-sided like it was not um he made it out to me that we were gonna we had something clearly we didn't and i think <sighs> most girls will understand that and even boys will understand when you get fucked around in the heads um i was jealous because he formed a little thing in my head and he kept mentioning a name and bringing her up in the things um so that's why i put to lula will but it's only a joke and girls would say much more worse i literally said to lula will that's it i don't I don't understand it. But yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. I called it pathetic. It's not deep. It's really not deep. Yeah, well, we'll be all night. She has hate as it is. Everyone has hate. Sorry. Yeah, but you didn't start it, did you? Everyone has hate. I get hate. Don't cause it then. Do you know what I mean? It's fucking stupid. Everyone gets fucking hate. 
everyone gets hate on social media. Yeah. Exactly. Stupid. I could have gone for that Fucking hell. Well. The new one I didn't even message her on. So really, if she had an issue, message me about it. Like. Why do you communicate with me? Tiana, not me and Tiana, not Amy. She removed me off both of my Snapchat accounts and then in the morning she said to me that if I had a problem I could message her. She removed me so I couldn't message her. Like if you weren't on a platform, if you didn't have followers, if you're arguing with another girl or boy, you would say a lot more worse stuff than pathetic. Okay, just because I got followers, it don't mean that I'm not gonna say whatever. But like just be real, like be for real, you would say a lot more worse stuff. I called her pathetic, it's really not deep. And that's where I saw this this is where all the dramas came from. Because I called the girl pathetic. Like, come on. And if you have your opinions, I really don't care. I could not care less about what people think. Just say I think. I generally, I've got to the point that I generally don't care. Like, being called pathetic at deep, exactly, it's not deep. The thing that I'm most bothered about is the fact she lied and said that I took the mic out of the PLT girls. There's no proof. And she knows, because she's on social media, she knows how much hate you get on social media. And the fact she made up a rumour, like, I've not said one bad word about the PLT girls, but clearly said, what else did I say? I called her pathetic. It's really not deep. She said she saw a video. She saw a video of me taking the mic out of the PLT girls, yet she don't have a video. Like, don't make rumours if you can't back it. And it's not about Grace or Flula, like, like, you guys can like whoever you want to like. But what I'm saying is that, considering... Oh. It is true, I showed the screenshots. She said, multiple times, she said that I, she saw proof of me taking the mic out of the girls. And she has no proof, so... And my weight, right? The thing is, is like... I'm happy within myself, so, and it should not bother you. Like, it's my body, it's my life. If I want to look the way I want to look, then I will. Like, and it's mostly girls as well. It's mostly girls that are saying stuff, right? And it's like, right, people, oh, I saw this comment. I'm going to say this one last time. I tried to sort it out between me and her. Me and her. She's got to be on delivered because I asked for proof and she has not answered me since. So I've tried to sort it out. She has not sent me any proof and she's got me on delivered. So how am I supposed to sort it out when she's not answering me? But no, the social media is like, yeah. And it's like, I'm all for confidence. Like that's what my platform is. I'm My platform is based around making people confident and making other people feel like it's okay, like the way you look. Like you don't have to look a certain way. Like you do not in life. Like you look the way you look. It's whatever. And like, obviously I'm not someone that can, like I'm not someone that will let it affect me so easily, but when you have it constantly, then it's a bit, you know, just get to Like, the music's not adding to it, it's making it sound really dramatic, but... I need to get hum humbled, mate. I'm the most humble fucking person you will meet. I called her pathetic because she removed both my accounts without any... Notice.